Hey everyone, it's Tom Karadza, and we've been doing these things over the last little while where instead of talking to everybody about real estate investing and why they're buying property, because we all know that's just such a brilliant idea already, um, we wanted to come out into everyone's day-to-day -day life and see what they are doing. So Gus Kasharo, am I saying it properly, Gus? That's correct, yeah. I, I got it. With Monster Renos is someone that we've been working together with uh, for quite some time. But although Gus knows what we do, we didn't know how much fantastic work Gus does. So this is our opportunity to visit with Gus. Gus is right here. We're in a mysterious location that we're not disclosing in Oakville, Ontario. And Gus, um, Gus's company is MonsterRenos.com, and Gus does renovations all around the west side of the GTA. Is yes, that west side of the GTA. Yes. And we wanted to ask you because everyone asks us about renovations when you're renovating your own home because you're in the middle of a beautiful renovation mm -hmm. project project here. Um, what are, what, what do people typically, what mistakes do they make? Do they, do they under budget? Do they spend too little and they should be spending a little bit more to get really what they want? Or do they not ask the right questions to contractors? Do they, do they interview oh, contractors? Pretty much all the above. They don't ask the right questions. They, they, they have very limited, uh, foresight as to how they want it to look. Um, so, so how do they so learn? You the have to, you have to pretty much guide them. So when you're dealing with contractors, what's the, what is like the number one question? You, you if you were dealing with me, and we weren't going to use monster renos because we're cra we were crazy right. not to. Yeah. Uh, but if we were going to use someone, what would you say? Hey, make sure you ask them this. Well, you ha you have to find out if they you know, if like modern, contemporary, classic look. What okay, is so what, what is their of, style? Because somebody who does traditional yeah. work can't do modern stuff. Correct. Well, no, I wouldn't necessarily say that. But uh, they may not uh, have uh, as open-minded okay. to be able to, you know, envision okay. what it can be. Um, and then, how do you help people with the design? Do you get them thinking of the design? Do they give you the ideas? It's pretty much fifty-fifty. Okay. Uh, majority of the people we work with have an idea of what they would like and okay. how they would like to have it looking. Yeah. And uh, then it would be a question of uh, what kind of materials do you would like, uh, okay. uh, quality-wise, and also naturally the budget would have a big impact okay. on that too. What, what, where, where is more money spent? Material in a renovation for your own home or labor? I always underestimate both, I think. It's, <laughs> it's usually almost like a, a 40-60 split in uh, materials. Yeah. And labor. Okay, material forty percent, labor sixty yeah, percent. Yeah. And when so in, in this project, you're doing the entire main floor, Completely. the entire second floor, both bathrooms. We'll show you some clips of what's going on around the house Correct. here. But uh, how long does a, a two floor renovation like this take? Typically, a uh, home of this size, thirty two hundred feet. You're looking about eight nine weeks. Eight nine weeks. My family, we want to renovate at some point our entire kitchen. When yeah. we do that, do most people move out, or do you get a little hot plate and fridge in the basement and you live in the basement for a actually the the last job that uh, we did prior to this one here uh they set up a little kitchenette in the they did, eh? in the, That's in the garage we're, we're gonna do they look yeah, like yeah. they were going camping yeah got it, it, it was quite funny but it worked for them yeah, got it. Because the rest of the house was functional, it was just the kitchen. So they had a little propane stove and everything. Do. Yeah, so yeah. It was good. Okay, and so what kind of renovations do you do? Obviously, it seems like everything. List them Pretty off. much uh, <clears throat> the flooring, the wood flooring, yeah. uh, tiles, marble, granite uh, flooring. Obviously, kitchens. Uh, kitchens. You do uh, structural work. You do structural cheap. work, uh, open concept if you want. So you uh, work with structural engineers if you need yes, them? Yes, yes. Okay. The design, do you have, do you work with, it seems like you're able to design you, with well, the you, Well, a lot of the time, the uh, kitchen people will have a designer. Okay, got it. So that it's takes a lot of pressure yeah. off of me. Yeah. Okay. And they have more experience because all they do is just strictly kitchens. Yeah. So I, I, I have a good vision, but then again, they do it on a daily basis, kitchens. So a lot of times I leave it for them to work with the clients. Okay. And it just makes their life easy for me. So when someone's doing a renovation, when they're just doing their kitchen, what, what is the one renovation that then they add on that they usually don't start with? Is there, is this, do people say, oh, you know what, do the powder room too? Yeah. Or is that what it is? Powder on the room, room, laundry room? Entrance, entrance I know, that's laundry what we're going to go through. Yeah, it just, it's just yeah, entrance, it's, it's powder snowballs. room, laundry, kitchen. It's, I know it. I know. It just snowballs one after the other. Anyway, so pleasure meeting with you. Uh, hopefully during this, uh, we've, we've showed you some other parts of, uh, of what's going on during this renovation. If you want to reach out to Gus, the best way, I'm assuming, is MonsterRenos.com. MonsterRenos.com. Well, give me there. a call. Yeah, or through Rockstar. Cool. So that's it, Gus. Thank you so much. Thank you, Tom. We'll pleasure. talk to you again soon. Absolutely. Until next time, your life, your terms.